Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibzu7 here again, and welcome to another episode of my Hardcore Iron Man series. We're starting this video off with some divination. I just decided to start getting it up a little bit just to, you know, get started with this skill, and because if I ever get to level 78, I can make signs of life, and those will be really, really useful for this uh, account because it'll prevent me from dying and losing uh, my account or losing, you know, any extra lives I happen to. Uh, have a, obtained by that point. I also got some hunter levels during this by catching the chronicle fragments which is nice because um, it l helps me get past the earliest really early hunter levels which you know are some of the worst uh, hunter levels to get up so I was happy with the bit of hunter experience that I managed to get and um, yeah divination is not too bad it's a pretty AFK skill I was doing uh, some homework while I did this and um, I got pretty decent amount of levels from this. It also got me some good uh, total levels because I need 1,000 total in order to obviously make, I mean, uh, buy an extra life. So it was definitely nice to get um, the total levels from this as well. Um, and I think I get all, all the way up to level 30 before I uh, decide to stop. And so that's pretty nice. I am now on the, I think, the Sears Village location for uh, the next time I want to train it. So it was nice to get the early levels all over and done with and I can make some uh, some you know decent signs and portents and stuff. Nothing too great yet but still it was nice to do and there's level 30 right there. Uh, I got 42 cooking, cooking some lobsters that I just wanted to cook to get some food uh, some high level food. I then got a farming level there as you guys saw then I got 40 thieving so that I could complete a few of these um, capers or whatever they're called from the thieving uh, guild and um, I completed the lost her marbles one and I can now uh, do the advanced doors because I can get lock picks from the shop I got a bunch of random items from this too it's pretty good but the reason I wanted to get my thieving up was because I was failing way too much at the master farmer and um, I wanted to get higher thieving so I could get seeds more easily from him. So um, I completed all those capers and stuff and I unlocked the ability to buy lock picks from the shop here in the thieves guild. And um, yeah, from there I just got my thieving level up using the doors. I got up to level 50 and then I decided to stop so that was pretty cool. I think that's my first level 50 skill as well so not bad. Um, and then I got uh, another farming level there and then I decided to go do some mining um, which I got a few mining levels getting some iron and um, now I'm doing construction I don't remember why I got those two mining levels I think it was to use the adamant pickaxe that I had bought earlier but um, yeah I then was doing some construction got level 10 construction and I, I needed that to do uh, perils of ice mountain which I then did and that got me a few level ups uh, in hunter, thieving, uh, no not thieving, uh, construction and farming. So um, yeah, I remember that's why I was doing the mining. I think I needed those level ups for uh, that quest. But um, yeah, just a bunch of random levels being shown right here. Um, I got a couple of herbal levels to do another quest, I believe. And I also was able to hand in my daily challenge, which actually got me nine herbal levels from the one daily challenge, which was kind of insane. Um, but yeah, I know I was focusing on doing mining a lot for this. Um, I was going for 40 mining in order to do some quest. Uh, I'm not sure which. I think it might have been the Watchtower quest was the one I was going for, for some magic experience. So I grinded out a bunch of iron ore. That was really boring. Um, mining is really boring to train up until you get, uh, unlock, you know, whatever they are, whatever they're called. Uh, concentrated rocks. Got a, quite a few levels during the quest right there as you guys saw but uh, yeah then I managed to complete it. Not a very tough quest just a lot of running around in the you know area and stuff and that got me about 15k magic experience got me up to level 39 magic so yeah I also of course unlocked the watchtower teleport and I uh, reached the 700 total level milestone so that's pretty cool but um, yeah, that's probably going to be about it for this video, you guys. I know these videos are pretty short, but there is a, quite a decent amount of progress in them, uh, as you guys hopefully can tell. In the next episode, we're going to be training our magic up, because I want to get to level 50 so that I can use my Ibn staff that I unlocked doing, from doing the Underground Pass quest in the last episode. 
But um, yeah, other than that, guys, please like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'm gonna start working on the Majorat Master again soon. I just haven't. Uh, I've been really playing a lot on the Iron Man. It's been really fun. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try and do a few trips in the next few days for the next episode of the Majorat Master. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace.